So today we're going to talk about motors, the things that make everything go around. And we're going to talk about the different types of motors and why you would choose one type over another and uh, what the benefits and disadvantages are of each type. So I'll, I'm going to start with uh, the, the motors that pretty much run the world. And that's a motor like this, which is an induction motor. And uh, I would say probably 90% of the motors in the world are, are induction motors like this. So an induction motor is, is an AC motor, and uh, the vast majority of motors are AC. And uh, there are two types of AC. There's three-phase AC and what they call single-phase AC. And uh, this one is a three-phase AC motor, and it accounts for uh, most of the motors in industry, okay? And the reason is they're, they're very, very simple, and they're pretty much bulletproof. Uh, they, they very, very seldom fail unless they are hugely, hugely overloaded. And, uh, and, and so most of the time, these things will run 20 years without uh, a, a, a bit of problems. And uh, if they run 24-7, they run about six or seven years, and they fail not because of the electric, but because of the bearings going bad. So you, you, the, the number one reason for failure of an induction motor is, is basically bearings. So the way the motor works is there's a, let's just do a little sketch. There's a, uh, what's called a stator, which is the part inside the motor that rotates the shaft. And then around that, there's a set of coils in, in the outer housing. And the coils are arranged around the motor like this. Now, the core, the, the, uh, yeah, the rotor is, has no magnets in it. It's made up of uh, metal laminations. So the motor uh, would not turn if you just simply turned the power on to it. But what happens is the magnets in the, the coil, electromagnet coils around the motor actually induce magnetism into the metal. And there's a basic law of, of, of this, and which is that uh, a, a piece of metal moving through an electric field becomes, generates a current, and that current is, becomes magnetism. So in order for an induction motor to work, it actually has to slip. In other words, this motor is rated 1740 RPM. And the reason it's rated 1740, an odd number, you'll see some that are 1725, that kind of thing. That number represents the slip from 1800 RPMs that the magnetic field is rotating. Right? The magnetic field is going around trying to drag the motor around, but there's no magnetism to drag the rotor unless you have some slip. So that slip ratio is every one of the AC induction motor has this slip ratio, okay? Now, it also means that the motor speed is dependent on load. If you have no load, the motor might run, say, 1,790 RPM because it'll, it'll just catch up. It doesn't need the slip to generate a very powerful magnetic field. So if you're trying to run something at a very constant speed, an induction motor like this on its own is not a good choice, okay? It would, it would because of the slip. 